happy Wednesday. I am Jen Lormand, exercise physiologist, mom of three, and co-owner of Tighten Your Tinkler. I'm Christina Walsh, physical therapist, mom of two, and co-owner of Tighten Your Tinkler, and we are so excited to empower you to squat without discomfort with all the right muscles working, the ones that you want to be working today. Yeah, we are so passionate about helping women find their up and in muscles to feel and look their best. It is possible. We're going to dive right into it today. So if you, if you missed our post from earlier this week, scroll back and check in with that because we gave you some photos and explained the things that we're going to talk about today. Today we're giving you a bonus tip to make sure that you watch to the very end. But we're going to do a self check together. So what I want you to do is go ahead and take your phone with you, go and find a mirror, preferably a full length mirror, and you're gonna face sideways. So Christina's gonna be our fitness model again. And you're gonna squat, okay? So you're gonna sit and push back. Now, we're gonna address three different things that we see women doing when they squat today. So as I'm talking about that, I want you to keep doing that squat and paying attention to see if you are doing some of these things. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna address, Christina's gonna um, sit back and, how are we going here? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so what do you notice? Now she's really doing an awesome job exaggerating this. And it's really uncomfortable. And it does not feel good. If you're doing this, not only should you see it in the mirror, but you are one of the people who's feeling all the pressure in their knees, in your knee when you're trying to do this. Yeah, so a better way to do this, if you, if you have avoided squatting because of knee pain, what you're gonna do is find your hip bones and you're gonna give yourself a gentle push back and then she's gonna bend her knees and sit. And your knees are gonna go, oh! <laughs> They're gonna say, thank you so much. That is a night and day difference, guys. It is so cool, it's so simple. Push just back. physically push if you need to. Two. Yeah, and here. Takes all the pressure off your knees, and then you start to feel it in the right muscles. Now, if this is being caused, which most of the women that we work with, we find that this squat dysfunction is being caused from a lack of strength in their pelvic floor, their deep abdominals, their hip rotators, and their glutes. So maybe you're like, okay, cool. I'm pushing my hips back. But to accommodate for that, now you have to like do this little twerky arch deal where you're compressing your low back. This okay. is so painful. So you might think, my knees aren't going over my toes, my squats are fine. But you can keep your knees over your toes. And if that booty goes way out twerky style and you're feeling the pressure here, you may not even realize you're doing this until you look in that mirror because you've been doing it this way for so long. If to you avoid the knee pain. Yes, right? <laughs> get to protect your knees. You've figured out. You've got to sit further back. But you don't have the strength in your deep core muscles, all those up and in muscles to support this posture. So you, your booty just right like that. Yeah, or you've got some pelvic instability and your tailbone stuck in extension and you literally can't maintain that. And there's no other way. Something physically holding you back. So an easy self-check for this, and I forgot my dog on broomstick. Um, is pretend like you've got a broomstick, okay, for feedback. So my arm is going to be that broomstick, and Christina's going to do it again. She's going to feel that feedback Ooh. of, whoop, get that little puppy. Yes, back. if you've got that twerky booty, that broomstick is not going to sit flat. And the idea is not to tuck your tailbone either. No. The idea is to keep a neutral posture of ribs stacked over hips. So that, that maintains the same all the way up and down is your goal. And the broomstick will give you some good feedback about that to check you. And I have to tell you, so many women who have come and seen us and gone through our program, this is what is happening in their body as they start. But in just a couple sessions, it is phenomenal to watch that when you actually simply turn on these muscles, they are like begging you to please turn me on so I can work for you. And when you do that, it's like your body's like, I got this. And suddenly it's, it's easy and everything clicks when you just get the right plugging in, which is why we love the way we teach the up and in muscle restoration that we do in our program. You're gonna turn and face forward. And this is the last one before our bonus tip. 
Okay, so now you're gonna face forward in that mirror and do this again. Okay, so you're gonna sit back, use the, the things that you just learned, okay? Now, what many of the women deal with is their knees begin to collapse in. Again, this is a foundational weakness. This is flat mom butt. Maybe that's what it looks like. Yep. If you're not filling out the backside of your jeans, you're probably squatting like this too. There's first tip. <laughs> So having those glutes and really those hip rotators firing properly are what's gonna help you um, get these muscles on board. Some simple PT exercises that you could try is something called a clamshell or really focusing on pressing those knees away, trying to get those muscles to turn on and sit back. Yeah, but our, our neck, a lot of you are doing this and don't even realize it. So please yeah. seriously go in front of the mirror. You'll see those knees collapse and it may not be quite as dramatic. Yeah, Christina is exaggerating, but still your knee should not be mm -hmm. naving inward as you go to sit back. That's yeah. a lack of pelvic stability, which wink, wink. We're going to be talking more about that next week as we go through our lunge series here. But our bonus tip, and this is the last self check that you don't necessarily need a mirror for, but as you go through the movement, again, feel out in your foot what is loaded, okay? Your heel and your big toe should be pressed down into the floor, anchoring you as you push back and sit back. Most of the women that come in to see and work with me, as they're doing these, their big toe is coming up off the floor and that creates instability in itself because the big toe is really kind of like the neural plug-in to activate the pelvic floor and those deep abdominal muscles. So just this little tweak can have a huge impact on how you're performing these because you're giving yourself some good neural input through that big toe to be able to activate and turn these muscles on. And if you're one of those people that's never been told by a medical professional that you should not be doing squats, we like to fact check that right away because we like to ask, well, do you plan to go to the bathroom today or ever again? Do you plan to get up and down out of a chair? These are things you have to do. So this is worth putting a little time into to get this right because it will save you all the repetitive wear and tear injuries that come as you do continue to squat to get through your day to go to the potty to sit down and stand up. And what does, what does that lead to if we don't fix all these problems, Jen? <laughs> all kinds of fun stuff, right? So maybe you're watching this going, yeah, I already know I have a problem with my squat, right? I have IT band syndrome, or I have pain at the top of my knee that might be, um, have been called patellofemoral pain or tendinitis, or I've been diagnosed with some type of bursitis and inflammation that I feel in my knee, under my knee, grinding in your knee, um, and the list goes on and on. We'll rein ourselves in a little bit. All but that stuff happened because these movement patterns are, are, have been reprogrammed wrong through injury or lack of recovery from childbirth and pregnancy. You can switch the script on this and start performing these movements with the right mechanics and taking the pressure off the wrong places and putting it into the right muscles by doing these quick fixes. And you will notice those symptoms are going to start to get better and they won't bother you when you're squatting you'll be able to get past all of that and you certainly won't be causing it or making it worse. And I think what's really cool is oftentimes people have been struggling when they come in to see if they've been struggling with this for a while. And when we tell them that literally if you do what we tell you to do, which is outlined in our protocol in 30 days, this can go away. This cannot be a problem for you. You can start going back and doing the things that you enjoy and then some, you know, Maybe you have not been able, you know, you're in a body pump class or you're in some type of, um, you know, weight training program where you really have, you've been stuck because you can't get your mechanics uh, proper to be able to progress that movement. These are all things that can really, when you're getting to the root cause, which again, the root cause of this dysfunction is not having the up and in muscles turning on to support you. And so by our simple decompress, activate, strengthen methodology, in 30 days, this is a non-issue. And you're gonna start feeling the changes and the positive progress in way less than 30 days. 
most women feel changes in their movement in the first one to two sessions. The first one to two sessions. So you you too can have this. <laughs> but please reach yeah. out to us with all the hard questions. We've worked with hundreds of women on these exact issues. We are here and ready to answer those for you. And we want to be a resource and a help to correct all these movement patterns to get you feeling good and strong in your own body again. You can do this. And if you're a forward thinker and you're like, well, squats aren't really my problems. I have a lot of pain with lunges. Throw us those questions too before next week's show or before next week's content. We can reach back out to you. Until then.